There is no news at all, and it's incredibly frustrated. Uh, we've been uh, promised throughout the day that uh, at some time an announcement will be, will be made. Who will make it, where they will make it, and what they will say, we haven't got a clue. Nothing, nothing at all. I mean, it, on some previous occasions, the Secretary of State has had uh, conferences with us, uh, you know, on Zoom and, uh, and things like that, and, and we've had at least uh, an opportunity to talk to him. Uh, he's never told us in advance what he's going to say, but at least uh, we've had a chance to be heard. On this occasion, we haven't even had that chance. So uh, I don't know what is happening, and uh, I'm incredibly frustrated, not just on my own behalf, uh, but on behalf of the people of Leicester, who uh, I think, you know, very widely do feel considerable anger and frustration at having been locked down for an extra four, four weeks while the rest of the country has begun to uh, see relaxation. Can't really understand why on earth uh, they, they, they picked on Leicester in the first place unless it was to make uh, some sort of example of a place while others were being locked down that uh, you know, could be a warning to others. Uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, the more we've looked at the data, the less we've understood it. <laughs> when decisions are going to be made. Well, I mean, there's already confusion amongst the people of Leicester, I and mean, we've already got a situation in Leicester where uh, we can have non-essential shops open, uh, we just can't make non-essential journeys to, uh, to actually visit them. Uh, so, you know, it's already got loads of contradictions within it, and uh, I suspect that uh, we're going to find uh, even more of those contradictions going forward. Well, I hope uh, that the government will at last decide what they should have done right from the start, which is that they should uh, provide us with the data that we need to know where in the community the virus is being transmitted and give us the powers to, uh, to intervene at a local level, knowing those local communities, to actually uh, prevent the continued transmission of that virus. Uh, if only that's what they'd done six, eight weeks ago, uh, or even just before the lockdown, uh, we wouldn't be where we are now. I hope now they have learned that we at a local level are the ones who are as committed as they are to combat the virus, but are very much better equipped to do it. I think what they've uh, discovered from Leicester, and certainly, you know, I'd like to feel that, you know, the fact that I and others here in Leicester have made a fuss about it, is that actually locking down a town or a city is a very crude way of dealing with it. And that actually it is the local councils, the local politicians, the local officials, the public health officials who actually know those communities and can work with them. And if they are given the data and the, and the tools and the powers to do it, can do it far more effectively than locking down a whole city for four weeks. And what will, what will have to happen? Yeah, I'm particularly very angry on behalf of the businesses because right at the outset of this, the, uh, the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, said that there would be support for those businesses. Uh, he still hasn't delivered on it. We're more than four weeks in. Uh, and, of course, those businesses uh, have uh, suffered this additional uh, lockdown while the rest of the... Uh, the country has begun to get back into, uh, into business and into operation again. And uh, it is something that's been a major blow to them and to the economy of the city generally. And the government made a promise, and uh, I call on them yet again to keep that promise and to deliver for Leicester's businesses.